The member for Kingston. The member for Tangley has the call. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. My question is to the Treasurer. Will the Treasurer update the House on how the government's actions to build a stronger economy will bring the budget back into surplus next year without increasing taxes? How would a different approach to economic management hurt families, including in my electorate of Tangney? The Treasurer has the call. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I thank the member for Tangney for his question. And he and we know on this side of the House that next year we'll be delivering the first budget surplus in over a decade, Mr. Speaker. And we'll be doing that without increasing taxes, Mr. Speaker. And that is good news for the 15,000 plus small businesses in the member for Tangney's electorate and the many, many families in his electorate, Mr. Speaker. And the benefit of a strong, growing economy is that you could provide the record health and education spending that this side of the House is providing the Australian people. That you could provide the record $75 billion in infrastructure funding. That you can spend more on defence and indeed commissioning those naval vessels that the Labor Party never commissioned during six years in government. And that you can fund the National Disability Insurance Scheme and provide the necessary welfare support for those who need it most, Mr Speaker. Now, that is our approach. Grow the economy, create more than a million new jobs. On the other side of the House, they have one plan for the Australian people. One plan. That is to increase taxes by $200 billion, Mr Speaker. Higher taxes on your business, higher taxes on your income, higher taxes on your electricity bill, higher taxes on retirees and their savings, and higher taxes on your property, Mr Speaker. And let me tell you the impact of Labor's pernicious new big property tax, Mr Speaker. According to the Housing Industry, the Master Builders Association, you will lose 32,000 jobs across the economy. 42,000 fewer dwellings will be built. It will be an $11.8 billion hit to the Australian economy. Indeed, our AAA credit rating will be put in jeopardy by Labor's new big taxing policy. And anybody who owns their own home under Labor's policy will see their home worth less, and anybody who rents their own home under Labor's policy will end up paying more. And the Housing Industry Association said an increase in the capital gains tax will lead to an increase in the cost of renting. Adept Economics said removing negative gearing as we know it would see rents increase, Mr. Speaker. And just yesterday, Core Logic said Labor's negative gearing policy would diminish investment demand across the resale market and the capital gains tax changes would likely provide a disincentive to investment. Mr Speaker, every day there's a new piece of evidence that shows that Labor's policy is the wrong way to go. Mr. Speaker. The Labor Party have one plan for 25 million Australians—higher taxes across the board.